وقفات مع عامر حياكم الله وهلا بكم الفن يجمعنا لانه الفن لغه الحياه لكن اليوم معرضنا تجمل باشياء ثانيه اللي هو الثقافه فالفن ثقافه فنشوف اليوم محورنا من الفنانه التشكيليه ضيفتنا من بريطانيا فنانه تشكيليه الاستاذه صديقه جمعه اللي قدمت حاجه حور محور اساسي اللي هي الكعبه الشريفه خلينا نشوف مع بعضنا ايش اللي قدمت لنا Today's art is about culture, not any culture, a unique culture of art for the entire Islamic world with our guest artist Sadiqa Juma. We'd like to welcome you first of all to Saudi Arabia. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome to Riyadh, where it's the capital of arts. Without a doubt. <laughs> uh, Ms. Sadiqa, what we have seen today in your beautiful art gallery, uh, a unique part of the arts. And we always say each artist has his own way of touching. Uh, can you give us uh, sharing what we have together about it? Of course. Um, in terms of uh, my art, I find it uh, very interesting uh, to paint about the Kaaba. Uh, generally Islamic art, but especially about the Kaaba, it's because it's something that I find fascinating that 1.7, I think close to 2 billion people now uh, around the world are so attracted to this simple architectural wonder. When you sort of think about buildings around the world, they are so ostentatious, they're gold and everything, but here we have just a simple structure that humanity is drawn to it like a, like a magnet. So uh, that's when I started my art journey. It is this that kind of drew me to try and find out more and more about the Kaaba. And this is being for me, not only my journey in the artistic world, but also in the development of my faith. Uh, we're trying to translate both English and Arabic, so some of the audience might not miss it. من جمال الفن اللي حبتت الاستاذه صديقه تدبو رسم الكعبه لانه اكثر من 2 مليار حول العالم من عدد المسلمين فحبت تكون رسالتها لتمعن بشكل خاص. من صديقه وات ويف سين از اي دونت ونت سي ذا سنتر جرافيتي سنتر اوف ذا جلوبال وورد ذات وي هاف سين ذات يو جيف اس ان ايديا باوت الكعبه. وين وي سي سم اوف ذيس وركس داز ذا Yeah, the culture, the people that grew up in the, in the image, how do you see the reaction with it? The for the non-Muslims? Um, in terms of the reaction that I've had here, as well as other places where I've exhibited, it's been so positive. Um, a lot of people focus on the technique, on, uh, you know, Alhamdulillah, I'm very grateful that they find that the technique is good what really interests me is the is is the story behind it for instance if i may talk about this is the is the astrolabe and it is it is this that we use to find the direction to again leading to the kaaba النقطه المحوريه في اعمال الفنيه الكعبه 
لانه هي فعلا محور الكون بشكل غير مباشر. بصدق most of the art works the paint I've seen it talks about Kaaba. This one I think it talks about like timing. If there's a link between the times and Al Kaaba Musharraf. So what's really interesting is during uh, many generations back, many uh, centuries back, um, to be able to determine the timing as well as the direction to the Kaaba, Muslim scholars, very inventive, uh, basically got the astrolabe. So uh, for them to be able to reach to their point which is again uh, to the Kaaba. They were clever enough to try and find a way. So this not only tells us the story of the art, but how as Muslims we were inventors, we were discoverers, and we found a solution. And that's the whole point. من جمالها إنه حتى التوقيت لما يكون اختلف من أصول قديمة جدا إنه الإنسان كيف يوم يربط الزمن الحاجة سينه يوصل للكعبة. سواء من خلال توجهاته أو من خلال أعماله. My sister, I've seen here a depth, a depth with a story, like a journey you're you're given us with that art. How can an, an artist really defined when he want to make a depth with a culture? Um, what I've tried to do, if I may use this as an example. Um, and as you will see with a lot of my work, is to try and find a focal point and lead the viewer to that focal point. Whether it is the cube or the square for the Kaaba, or whether it is this where the eye actually takes you to the point. So the whole point is to be able to get to the depth, you, I feel, you need to guide the eyes to what you want him to see. Kalam Kibir, it's a big word. Um, I asked the artist, my friend, that I felt that a certain language was the way to get to the point. So she said that even the language was the way to get to the point that was the way to get to the end of the day. So when I say the language, it's the way to get to the point. نقطة ارتكاز أخرى المرة هذه على المسجد النووي اللي هي لو تطالعون فيها من عمق مركزية قمة رسول الله للمسجد النووي مصديقة again another focal point ما شاء الله given us which gets us to the same point the center of your heart of your beliefs so I mean to be able <coughs> excuse me to be able to get to uh, where we want to go, sometimes we have to go through certain doors. And the, the pattern on this door, which is our most beloved, I thought was uh, a very interesting and important thing to portray. So hence, uh, and in this one also, sorry, in this one also, I, I feel that it, it uh, I mean, I've used gold leaf to show that for us, you know, we, we, we consider gold as important and all that. And, and this, is, this is the most important, so we sort of think, right, as we come in, this is the first thing we see also. Well, that was going to ask you. Do you, you went up, you know, this one is different from the rest of it. You know, I feel like there's a gold plated uh, liquid. Gold leaf, yes, gold it is. Leaf. It is. It is oh, gold leaf. Oh, rag min al عشان تعطي بشكل أقرب ما يكون إلى الجزئية الموجودة في بصمة مدخل رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. فـ another part of it when you say it's a path ما تقولي ما مر the whole global our personal life goes through doors like you're saying حياتنا كلها تمر من خلال أبواب إلى ما توصل للهدف اللي تبغاه وهذا اللي شخصتنا هو بعمل الفني الأستاذ صديقة. مصديقة also one thing Correct me if I'm wrong, you're the artist. I'm just a journalism with the lover of art. When we go through a patterns for each person, each one of us, regardless of your religion, your color, all that stuff. Absolutely. How do you think we can pass a message to the deep or to the subconscious of the uh, viewer or the person that is lying, watching our paints? I think if we look at if 
I give you an example of these paintings, uh, if we look at this rather than a particular religion, for me Islam is important to me. But if, if we even put that aside, if we look at it on a spiritual aspect of trying to reach to, uh, I don't know whether I could call it a higher level, but a level that is more than just the worldly, right? Because we've got everything that is, uh, we see in this world. If we try and portray something that we can not necessarily reach, but we can see with the heart, that's what we try to do. I'm speechless. أنا عاجز على الكلام الكلام اللي جاءت الحين الفنانة صديقة أنه عشان توصل لحاجة معينة في ذاتك حاول أنك تقرأ أفكارك الداخلية بغض النظر عن مبادئك الإيمانية طبعا احنا بالنسبة لنا كمسلمين الإسلام خط أحمر لكن كل الناس خبركة إنما هي بالتبادل الثقافات فأنت إيش تبغى عشان توصل لنقطة المحورية اللي في حياتك ما صديقة أنا أولوز سيد Every artist has his own identity and his artworks. When we want to say Sadiqa get something into her identity of the arts, what could you give us a word that describes your artwork? Diversity. Diversity. Because that's what we are as an Ummah. We are diverse. And that is the unity, is in diversity. I don't want to have too much time of you because I know you have a lot of guests coming. What would be a word from an artist to the people, the students, or the generation that's coming to arts? Believe in what you can do because I think it is in the arts that we will all find uh, the future and, and peace. It is because in art, uh, you will find things that you only will get the message. كلمتك هذا أكثر من رائعة للجيل المقدم على الفن. صدق باللي أنت دائما في إنه يطلع منك حاجة عشان تكون أنت بحد ذاتك أنت وهي مبدعين بعطائكم لأن الفن رسالة. مصدقة. You've attracted my heart, not because only of the Kaaba. The way you give us the patterns on the center part of this artworks, which is again Al Kaaba, again it's waves. Uh, but you use different arts. Uh, this piece is close to my heart. Every piece is لو لاحظتوا هي من ايش؟ من الطابع. You've given me an, an out of the box. Out of the box. Uh, خرج سندو كليا. This paint or this artwork is out of the box because you desired God knows how many countries all the stamps that you had. Again, the pattern. What kind of a passion did you had to get to this? I wanted to show that as the Muslim Ummah, we are of every color, of every nationality, of every financial, political, whatever it is you want to call it, and from every country. And for all of us, it doesn't matter where you're coming from, Maghreb or Mashrik, from the west, from the north. Our focus is the Kaaba. We face it five times a day. Yeah. So if we take this as an example, we also have lots and lots of stories behind every one of us. So in this case, behind every used stamp, and I made sure that it is a used stamp, there is a human story, whether it is in a form of that letter from a father to a daughter, or, or, or it's, a, it's a bill, or it's whatever it is, there is a story. And that is what 
I find really, really interesting. So this is the story of humanity and the whole humanity from this perspective is circumambulating, is doing tawaf and is looking towards the Kaaba because this simple cube which is amazing that we're all drawn to it. It's like a magnet. Insania. حكزتها بطريقة أكثر من رائعة الطوابع هذه هي صعب أن تقدر عدد الدول اللي شافتها طبعا ما زارتها ممكن جدا شاكر على شفيتها بس أنه ورا كل طابع رسالة لأنه ورا كل طابع دولة ورا كل طابع موقف معين رسالة أب لولده ولد لأمه رجل لزوجته العائلة الارتباطية فهي قصة وفلو الفاخر تحكي على محور أساسي الكعبة الشريفة. أنا أسألك بفور، بس أول لا أودينس بي جاد جود مي. سألتها قبل كذا أنت حضرك دارس على النفس الطريقة اللي تشرح لنا هي. فقالت أنا أسألك إنه did you learn or did you read about philosophy and your answer was I I didn't I'm afraid I didn't I wish I had but no. I think the beauty of the arts that doesn't make a difference what your original study, as long as you have the brains, the heart, and the touch. I think with, with uh, we're very lucky that within, if we are lucky enough to be able to have the luxury of uh, doing art, because it, for me, it is, you know, I, I, I do this, every day and it's it's like you know if you if you do something you love it means you've never worked a day in your life because you've done something that you loved okay <laughs> so if you're lucky enough to do that inshallah you might be able to see with your heart rather than your eyes and that i think is i don't think that's philosophy i think that's fact وليس لمصلحة ما فأنت توصل هنا للعقلانية وللإحساس بالعمل تقدمه نيابة عنكم كلكم نقول لضيفتنا الفنانة صديقة شكرا حياك الله and we have all the audience and all the followers we'd like to thank you for coming to Saudi uh, it was a real pleasure for me personally to, to meet you to have this interview honestly it's been an honor it's been an honor you are a unique the way that you describe your artworks. I, with your du'as, inshallah, I will continue doing that, and inshallah, I will be back, and we'll have a chat again. Inshallah. inshallah. Look forward. Thank you. We'll go back to the next time, تبادل الثقافات فلما تيجي ضيفتنا من خارج العالم العربي مو بس في السعودية تعطينا شيء جميل بالإسلاميات وبالروحانيات وكعبة بالذات العزيز علينا كلنا يعطيكم العافية وقولها شكرا نورت ديرتك الثاني السعودية ونورت الرياض عاصمة الثقافة والفنون بدنا نكون لقاء وياكم مرة ثانية قريب فهذا معارضكم الفن لغة الحياة مسلم الخير عامر خالدي